we saw in the previous part how the crocodiles attack Godzilla and they both were trying to climb the tree and the crocodile hit tree and Godzilla fell down. Beginning of this lesson we see that when Godzilla was falling down so the girl saves Godzilla and pulls him up and now they both come up and there are lots of crocodiles waiting for both of them under the tree. Godzilla says that this tree is very thick and this crocodile will hardly be able to do anything now. And there Godzilla says to the girl that you were worrying about me but the girl says that you are too young for Godzilla and gets angry Godzilla is there and says do you want to fight with me again and now both start fighting with each other and then there comes a python which is 70 meters long and weighs 70 tons. It is not poisonous but it always hunts in trees and seeing this Godzilla becomes alert but hardly Godzilla will is able to fight this python in his human form and the python attacks both of them but somehow they both recover and then they start running away from here. This girl is very agile, so she jumps from the branches but Godzilla does not have that much power, yet she tries and the python is coming behind them and understands that she will not be able to fight and the system comes. Says you just need 100,000 evolution points but Godzilla doesn't have that much and then the python attacks the girl and is about to eat her. But then Godzilla appears in front of him and saves the girl, but the python eats Godzilla. Goes. And now it goes into the stomach of the python and when Godzilla reaches its stomach. It says that this place is very discouraging. Now the python has eaten me. Now it seems that I will die here. I am not very strong, yet Godzilla tells me there is some way out from here now starts charging himself ready to attack but system comes there and says if you use your power in this human form you will not be able to handle your power is too much you are more likely to be killed here, but Godzilla says that if I stay here like this, I will hardly survive, I have to do something, so I am using my explosive breath and there is not much time. That I can earn 6000 evolution points but the system says why don't you start eating this python you are in its stomach now maybe you will get evolution points comfortably and after hearing this and Godzilla now go into the stomach of python and start eating do it but it's test Godzilla finds it very useless but now it has started getting evolution points so now it has become happy. Now Godzilla starts getting a lot of evolution points and now Python's stomach is being eaten continuously and Python is in a lot of trouble outside and then Python tries to vomit but Godzilla was not going to agree. He starts eating faster and says you try and see when. I came here it was your wish but now I will go from. Here on my own wish then saying this he grabs Python's stomach and now very soon Godzilla will have full evolution points and now the system comes and says that the required number of evolution points are now done do you want to analyze that fruit then Godzilla says yes and the system now that he starts analyzing the fruit but it will take him 30 minutes and this makes Godzilla extremely angry as he does not have 30 minutes and the progress is very slow. That's why Godzilla gets more angry. Then Godzilla says to the system, tell me, how can it progress so fast? If yes then the system says for this you will need. More evolution points so now Godzilla starts eating. More of Python's stomach so that it can get more evolution. Points now Godzilla eats Python's stomach very fast. So that Python falls down from the tree and is suffering a lot and now the analysis of the fruit is now complete and he gets a notification do you want to get information about it then Godzilla says yes and then one from the system fruit emerges which Godzilla sees and direct catches it and starts eating it now Godzilla eats the fruit which was there and says transfer and tries to transfer but it has no effect and system tells that when I analyzed this fruit. I came to know that this fruit is not from this world. It is from another world and when someone eats this fruit, that monster comes into a human body and its life force he freezes in the form of a crystal. If you want to be Godzilla again, you have to Godzilla. Says okay then tell me now to break that crystal will. I have to do cultivation and then now Godzilla sits. Down and starts doing his work and near that crystal. 
reaches and breaks it so that now Godzilla starts coming again in its original form and the same python which is outside now starts flatulent so that now this python hurts it a lot and then then Godzilla comes out tearing the stomach of that python and due to which this girl becomes very happy and at the same time crocodiles are scared to see Godzilla because now Godzilla has come out again to destroy them all and comes and says you guys have troubled me so much now it's my turn. And after some time Godzilla would have killed all those crocodiles and is now ready to cook all these crocodiles by gathering wood at one place and using his explosive breath to light a fire there and all these now starts cooking in the fire and at the same time the girl says that after all how did you come back to your real form and how did you become so tall then Godzilla says that for this you will not have to do much. You have to wake up at the right time. You have to eat at the right time. You have to exercise well so that you can also be tall. Which is the right thing and now the crocodiles are ready to cook. Now Godzilla is going to eat them and also now this girl also starts eating and now Godzilla gets a lot of evolution points and at the same time the system has given him a fruit and if a wounded monster eats this fruit. Then all his wounds are healed. But Godzilla does not understand all this stuff and says it is not looking so special and then he looks at the girl and says that her the wound is not yet healed and so he gives this fruit to this girl and this girl starts eating this fruit but this girl finds this fruit very strange but now this fruit starts doing its work he does it and so that this girl had a wound in her chest. Now it starts happening there and seeing this she becomes very happy and eats that fruit with great speed so that she recovers again. And she starts beating her chest and seeing this Godzilla. Says maybe that's why your wound was not getting healed. But this girl says this is my habit it can never go. Away then Godzilla says that from now on we both will never fight we both will be together and I will protect you but this girl says this can't happen we both are rivals we have to fight each other for our territory for our food so this is the rule of nature but Godzilla explains that if we continue to fight like this again between territory and food then both of us will be in loss so we will get we should live together so that we can hunt those who are bigger than us. But now Godzilla asks tell this last. How did you escape from that bird and how did you eat this fruit? Did it not attack you and Godzilla takes very perverted. Care for this girl in his mind and somewhere or the. Girl also understands that's why she kills Godzilla. By throwing a bone and tells that when I ate that fruit. And came in human form I grabbed a rock so that I saved. From falling then after that I went to a cave where. That bird and that creature were fighting and the bird was very difficult to face those creature and Godzilla says I know wasn't that they were troubling strange bird and creature and that creature is very bad I should talk to that bird once and it further tells that when that bird was not able to face their creature it got up from there and went somewhere far away but I got stuck there then after that those creatures caught me and took me somewhere else. They must have come to know who I was. They must have got the smell of King Kong from inside me. Then Godzilla says does it mean that those creatures wanted to arrest you and make you their mistress. King Kong was on my mom my dad and me but we had a fight with these creatures and after that my mom and dad also went to fight them but they didn't come back that's why now I also fight them and kill them but but their number is very high and after that Godzilla says that you do not take much tension. It has become my second home now and I will not let anyone destroy it. I will protect it myself and no matter what yes I will finish him just I have to upgrade myself as soon as possible so that I become 100 meter and my level reaches to Behemoth after that I will defeat that king reptiles in a pinch. Then the next day, King Kong calls Godzilla to his house and Godzilla tells that he said that both of us should hunt together and so that Godzilla can easily earn evolution points and Godzilla is watching all this from hiding. Happens and says why is she shouting so much I told. Her many times that she is not that big anymore because. Of this everyone's attention will go on her why can't she be a lady and always beats her chest and then Godzilla feels something where two saver tooth tigers are coming who are ready to attack this girl secretly and attack but Godzilla comes from behind and catches them both and says how dare you both attack it while I am alive and when the sever tooth tiger looks back here it gets very scared and now directly Godzilla attacks these sever tooth and kills and eats them. And now Godzilla reaches that girl's cave and is sitting there comfortably cooking meat. 
but here a lot there are bones and says that seeing all this I do not think that this will be a girl's house. Girls are clean and tidy but then suddenly something starts happening to this girl and she feels a lot of pain in her body. And Godzilla is completely surprised to see this. It does not understand what is happening with it and it says that my heart is hurting and there the system comes and says that its body is about to collapse. Perhaps there is a side effect of that fruit which is happening in its body which is the fruit which makes the monster human and uses his life force and slowly his body becomes very weak so that he dies the same happens and the system says over there that if you want to fix it, you will have to pay a million evolution points, and after hearing this, Godzilla wants to save this girl by any means, so now he starts eating a lot of meat. But this is not enough for this so he locates the monsters with the help of his compass and he goes to hunt them. Ta hai he does not want anything to happen to this girl and while leaving he says to that mouse that you take care of yourself I will be back soon and this mouse also bids it goodbye then after that Godzilla comes to the jungle and here he finds some frogs who attack Godzilla but Godzilla chases them away and starts eating them. Godzilla finds it disgusting but he needs a lot of evolution points to save that girl. For so he starts eating them all and eating all the monsters he finds on the way and so on and gets a lot of evolution points and then he eats a creature but but his nosebleed starts coming and he spits it and then he hears someone growling from far away then he understands that there must be a huge monster. Now Godzilla starts going there and he finds a group of wolves on the way whose length goes from 10 to 30 meters and weight goes from 30 to 90 tons. They are very dangerous and merciless, they move very fast. Attacks on their prey and crushes them to bones with their jaws and Godzilla sees this and says what are these wolves doing here and these wolves are attacking a big sloth the length of this sloth is 35 meters and weighs 105 tons. Its nails are very dangerous but these wolves are attacking the sloth and the sloth is saving itself by killing these wolves and Godzilla is watching all this from a distance. Knowing that it is believed that right now these two monsters are fighting with each other. If any one of them survives, then Godzilla will eat them and if they are fighting with each other, then the monsters on both sides will definitely be injured, after which Godzilla will not have to face much difficulty. But but these wolves are overpowering sloth and seeing this sloth starts running from there and Godzilla is with him. Main and as soon as this sloth goes ahead Godzilla attacks with his tail which makes the sloth fall down and then after that now Godzilla starts eating the sloth and so that Godzilla gets a lot of evolution points but but when those wolves see that their prey is being eaten by Godzilla, they become very angry and proceed to attack Godzilla directly and Godzilla attacks a wolf with great speed and eats it. Starts and now Godzilla looks at these wolves very angrily and surrounds Godzilla but these wolves are very angry on Godzilla that's why now they all attack Godzilla and beat Godzilla let's do it but Godzilla is also facing all these wolves and killing them but still it is very much in number and one of them attacks this girl and is just about to kill her then Godzilla he grabs that girl by his hand and his direct attack falls on Godzilla. Now Godzilla is very gets more angry so he charges himself and gives a dangerous electric shock to all these wolves so that these wolves now start falling down and condition of all these wolves gets worse and slowly now Godzilla is eating them all but still this much evolution points is not enough for Godzilla he needs a lot more evolution points. If you like this video so please subscribe my channel I will upload next part very soon.